Hey guys, in this video I wanna share with you my leaks start currency making strategy that I used during past few leaks and I was able to make two mirrors during first week of these leaks. The strategy that I am talking about is blighted maps and simulacrum farm. So let's start with day one of the leak and the build choice. You can do this strategy with a lot of builds, but I had the best success with Toxic Rain. It's being nerfed in 3.14 but I believe it's still going to be really good for this strategy. It's really fast and super cheap, and at the same time it's one of the best builds against Blight because it slows down monsters so you can basically act as a mobile slowing tower while dealing damage. Now you might actually have to go Trickster instead of Pathfinder because of the AoE changes. I always aim to complete campaign within 4 to 5 hours, but you can still do this strategy if you are slower, but obviously the faster the better. After you enter maps, you want to start farming blighted maps as soon as possible. I usually do it after I get Tabula Rasa. The important part of blighted maps that makes them so good at the start of the league is Chaos Recipe. The biggest blockers of Chaos Recipe are usually rings and amulets. That's where the blighted maps come in. One of the more common reward chests that you get in blighted maps are jewelry chests, so you can get crazy amount of rings and amulets from them. Usually you get more than two full sets of chaos recipe just from one map. The price of white blighted maps during first day of the league is usually around 4 to 5 chaos, so you get your investment back in just in chaos recipe and everything else is pure profit. Here is how your progression should look like. Play through the campaign, then farm tabula. Also you can start doing chaos recipe once you reach Harbor Bridge in Act 8. Then start farming white blighted maps. Once you get some amber oils, you can start doing yellow maps with two free amber oils. These all are the best in terms of reducing difficulty of blighted maps. Once you get some better gear, you can change amber oils into teal oils or higher for better rewards. Oils are being reworked in this league, so I'm not sure which one will be the best, but anything above teal should be fine. At the end of day 1, maybe at the start of day 2, you should be able to start farming tier 13 plus blighted maps. You want to farm at least tier 13, because that tier and higher can drop golden oils. Also from that point, you want to stop doing chaos recipe. Tier 13 maps are rewarding enough by themselves, so it's better to do them faster rather than doing chaos recipe. Now finally during day 2, maybe day 3, you want to swap into farming simulacrums. It might be pretty hard uh, to figure out if your character is ready to step into simulacrum and since price of them is usually around 2.5 exalts, it might feel pretty risky. But let me tell you, the sooner you start farming them, the better. And there is almost no risk involved because from my testing, if you get at least 4 rows of rewards and can do 17 to 18 waves, you should at least get your investment back. And to get to that point, your character needs to be only a little bit stronger than doing tier 13 blighted maps. I wouldn't worry too much if during your first few simulacrums you can't kill waves 19 and 20. One of the biggest reasons why you want to do simulacrums as fast as possible are unique items that drop there. Early on in the league, almost every unique from simulacrum is worth decent amount of currency. And even without uniques, you should make a lot of currency just from normal drops like scarabs, fossils, etc. But it doesn't stop there. One of the best things about simulacrums is that they give one of the best experience per hour in the game. And that means you can level up gems really, really fast. I would start with leveling up 6 empowers or enlightens gems in your weapon swap and whatever you can fit in your main gear. And that's why Toxic Rain is really good for this farm, in my opinion. With good gear, you can fit up to 25 gems in your gear which increases your profit massively, since Empowers and Enlightens level 4 are worth around 5 exalts during first weeks of the league, first 
first week. Eventually, once you can't afford it, you can swap gems into awakened gems to level up them to level 5, which usually takes around 30 simulacrums. Each one of them takes around 20 minutes to run, so to run 30 you need around 10 hours. Profit from one leveled up awakened gem is usually around 2 to 4 exalts, so if you are leveling 25 awakened gems, you are looking at 50 to 100 exalt profit just from gems. And if you add other rewards, you can make up to 200 exalts just in 10 hours. Obviously, that requires pretty specific build that can handle all of 20 simulacrum waves, while at the same time can fit 25 gems. But my Toxic Rain build is capable of doing just that. In the description of the video, I included two path of building links one to the character that I had when I swapped to simulacrums from Blighted Map and second one with endgame gear that can fit 25 gem slots. So, to sum things up, you want to start farming Blighted Maps as soon as possible, do a lot of chaos recipe to gear up to eventually be able to farm tier 13s and after that swap to simulacrums. With currency from simulacrum you want to improve your gear even more to eventually be able to do all 20 waves easily and fit around 25 gems in your gear to level up. Start to level up Empowers and Enlightens and eventually swap to Awaken gems. If you have more questions, I will be streaming my league start on my Twitch channel. Link is in the description. So see ya in the new league.